What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here. Today's transmission, and this is for my ladies. He's just not that into you. And that's okay. And actually, it's awesome. Why? Because that means that there is space for your man. That means there is space. There's a possibility that your one is still out there. Now, ladies, I want to be clear here. From a man's perspective, and I know a lot of dudes, and I have grown up as one, um, when a man is clear, he is clear. There is no if, ands, buts, or in-betweens. When he knows, he knows. And it doesn't matter if there's 10,000 miles in between you or 10 minutes in between you. He will find a way out of no way when he truly cares. So if you're dealing with a man, if you're dating someone who only texts or contact you when it's late at night or when it feels like a booty car or only gets in contact with you every couple weeks when he's bored, then I'm letting you know right now that that man is just not that into you. And you get to say, yes. Why? Because your dude is out there and there is somebody for everybody. We are social beings, and this is my call to action for you. You get to take your power back, your respect back, your dignity back. And if that man is not meeting you, where you are meeting him, if you're putting in all this effort, you're throwing all this effort into the box, and he's kind of blase about your friendship, your relationship, even if you're just friends with benefits. But if the benefits aren't benefiting you, if you don't feel like this is a mutual relationship, then you get to take your power back. You get to remove yourself from that situation and create space for your one, or your two, or your three. Because it's not always about attracting the one. Sometimes we gotta go on a journey, we gotta date so-and-so to find out about patience, and we gotta go through this to find out about how to get our respect back, and we gotta go through this with Ted to, you know, like, that's the process. But whatever it is, you get to. You get to understand that if somebody is not meeting you with the same level of love and respect that you're meeting them with, Game over. They don't get to play. You take your ball and you go back to your sandbox and you play by yourself <laughs> until somebody who's willing and ready to respect you in that way comes along. Okay, girls, ladies, queens, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You always have been. And despite our society trying to tell you anything different, despite some man trying to get into your pants, get that you are a queen an absolute queen. And anybody who steps into your energetic vortex needs to be a king. They need to be holding the same energy, but it's on you first because you're always teaching. He will only treat you how you treat you internally. So if you believe that you're a side chick internally, that you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, that you don't have, you know, quote unquote, lips like Angelina Jolie or such and such, all the stuff you compare yourself to, he will treat you the exact same way. You get to zone in, hone in, and work on that queendom and getting that your energy and who you came without anything extra. I'm talking about clothes, makeups, earrings, long hair, short hair, none of it matters. Who you came, the shell you came in, the energetic body that you came in is enough. Blessings and blessings, my queens, from Gilly Island. I love you so much. If you are new to the tribe, new to the family, and you're on YouTube, click that red subscribe button. If you're on Facebook and YouTube, please share this message if it resonates with you. Tag a friend. Guys, it is so beautiful, and it's going down in a beautiful major way. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice. Live love, give love, be love. Every time you get knocked down, you get to stop running back to the thing that knocked you down. That means letting go of these old patterns and unfollowing people in real life. Unfollowing people in real life.